First, I'd like to uh, introduce the uh, uh, speaker of this session, Professor uh, Naoko Tosa. Uh, Professor Naoko Tosa received a PhD of engineering for art and technology research from University of Tokyo. In particular, she focused on the topic of communication and used computers, video, and, and, and used computers, video, and electronics to design artwork that relates to the intelligence of, emo intelligence of emotion, consciousness, and unconsciousness. She was a guest professor in the Graduate School of Science and Technology at Kobe University, and also she was a researcher at the ATR Media Intelligence and Communication Lab. She was also a fellow at the Massachusetts MIT Technology Center for Advanced Visual Study. She is currently a professor at Kyoto University. Today she is talking about computing of Japanese culture. Uh, thank you very much for the introduction. Um, so today uh, I am talking about uh, what is the like uh, point of you know artistic art and technology point of view. So I am a media artist and researcher, uh, especially um, research of art and technology. It means um, so how to use artistic theory and concept and going to the technology and also uh, you know, how compute, computing some technology involved to the art. Okay? So um, today, I'm t before I'm talking about cultural computing, uh, I'm talking about more my history of the uh, research. And because you know, uh, before before my person <laughs> talking about some neuroscience or something more, you know, uh, here's audiences more physics people. So um, and this is you know my old work. Um, it was uh, first work is a neuro baby made in uh, generated in almost 14 years ago, it was 1993, I made a, a, a neural, neural network uh, using a neural baby by neural network. So response in uh, reacting to the emotional uh, reacting by uh, depending on the people's uh, uh, emotional voice. I show you the video. This is a you know uh, computer generated uh, baby graphics. This is a real time graphics. Uh, here is a here is a you know microphone and people talking to the you know baby uh, through the boy and creation of nonverbal actors. We have worked to create various kinds of interactive characters that can communicate with humans. There are mainly two communication channels used by humans, verbal communication and nonverbal communication. So far, most researchers have been developing verbal communication technologies. Speech recognition or character recognition are typical research areas. What we have found through our experiments is that the nonverbal communication channel is the key when we want to realize a truly human-like communication between computer characters and humans. We have created a baby-like character called NeuroBaby, which can recognize the emotions involved in the human voice and react to them. People regardless of age, gender, and even language can become totally involved in the interaction with this character. We recognize that this is the key to the success of future movies. 
Based on this emotion ally communicative character, we launched efforts to create other nonverbal communication characters to be key actors in future movies. This guy, you know, put on the low voice, low voice communication making actor, Mick. And then it was nineteen ninety five. He lived in a world you know, full of excitement growing and up, also babies Even growing if your up. capability of controlling language was limited, you could communicate with other kids or even animals and flowers by exchanging emotional utterances and body And here is an emotional model. These capabilities in, are the keys um, that will lead you to the online life of future movies. In 1993, just four models, but here we have created uh, a new character, emotional which we call model. Mick. Mick is a male child character. He has a cuteness that makes people feel they want to speak to him by emotional expressions and to interact with him with full body motions. He is playful and a bit cheeky, but doesn't have a spiteful nature. You can speak to Mick by emotional voices or utterances, and Mick will react to them. For example, if one whistles, Mick's feelings is positive and his response is enthusiastic. If the speaker's voice is low and strong, Mick's feeling is negative and he gets angry. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi, He's a researcher of the artificial life and uh, they are speaking by English, but you know, uh, maybe understanding his emotional voice intonation at that time. And then the response to the And here is a much modern reaction by using body motions. and input and reaction. You express your feelings by such body this is a baby's eyes and people making a behavior to share the same emotion and with you. Maybe also when you approach the same behavior. Sometimes he tries to flee from you as if he does not want to be touched by you. He sometimes touches you, showing he wants to have physical contact with you. But you know, people try to you know, uh, make a behavior on at that time also say, talking to baby and then baby responds to the emotional react by behavior and um, emotional some expression too. with Mick. Suppose you were a wasp and had a desire to sting Mick. Mick would try to escape from your pursuit and express his painful feeling by projecting sensitive facial expressions. And this part is a more intelligence. Maybe understanding meaning of the language and also uh, with emotional, emotional recognition. So, this 
is uh, I the internet mail. An intermediary for social miscommunication in email. When exchanging email, since we often use few words, it often happens that exact sentiments are lost in the translation, leading to misunderstandings. It's characteristic of email communication that one message can be sent and misunderstood, resulting in awkwardness that may be difficult to recover from. This software is designed to be very more reliable. Mail in Japanese. Here, the user logs in via World Wide Web. Once you type in your message and click the Convert icon, the converter automatically compares the message with a database of emotionally loaded phrases. At the same time, actions that fit nine emotions, excitement, greeting, teasing, surprise, fear, anger, disgust, sadness, and neutral are loaded in from a behavioral database. When the conversion is finished, Eurobaby performs an emotional translation <laughs> by speaking the loaded phrase, which is white and yellow, translation. in a synthesized baby voice and performing an appropriate behavior to convey the emotion. If the user doesn't like the automatic results, they can create their own behaviors to use at the selected phrases and even add behavior to phrases that weren't selected by the computer's emotion recognition tool. They can customize NeuroBaby's facial expression and behavior, the background image and music, and sound effects. The user's changes are recorded in their own database. After viewing a replay, the user can confirm their selection. This voice, Japanese voices, voice synthesis, uh, like you know, babies. This is a uh, you know, eight hours technologies. Because sometimes we mistake understanding you know, emotional aspects of the sentence of the Its arrival can be confirmed with typical email software. With NeuroBaby webmail, however, the recipient can also check the nuance and sentiments of the sender's chosen words. Mail in English. The software can also process email written in English. The words highlighted in red are the ones the computer has automatically and emotionally translated. Here, the word birthday has just been newly recorded as an emotion word. On this screen, the user chooses from nine emotions and modifies the character with facial expressions, behaviors, background images, and sound effects. Neurobaby speaks through an English voice synthesizer and expresses the emotion. Hello, how have you been? So, and emotion, each emotion is, you know, typical emotion also very, very, you know, depending on the culture, very different. Uh, typical emotion is, you know, same, but, you know, very sensitive emotion is sometimes too different. And uh, next time, next time, Next research is, you know, I'm trying to, you know, how adapting to the, you know, uh, more Japanese culture to emotion, especially love. So, um, I must made a 
interactive manzai. This is a kind of comedy. The concept of interactive manzai. For two people. In daily conversations, such factors as the voice tone, timing, and speed play very important roles. By controlling them, we enjoy conversations and keep human relations. This is a typical you know, Japanese comedy for one person. And this is a two person version. We enjoy manzai by listening to the dialogues of two manzai comedians. The two comedians play the role of Boke and Tsukomi. <laughs> Boke plays the role of an ordinary person with everyday opinions. Sometimes these opinions are surface and boring and far from reality. Tsukomi plays the role of a citizen who is keen to detect these opinions. And becomes offensive to both. He is, you know, defense person. He is a factors at voice uh, tone, timing, and speech are the keys as well as the conversation content. When these factors are well controlled, the audience is fascinated and involved into the conversation. They want to become Monday comedians by themselves. Interactive Monday is the system. He is a you know, professional um, Japanese comedian. Uh, play the you know, computer comedian on TV, <laughs> Japanese TV. They are professional manzai comedian. Name is Bakusho Mondai. Interacting with the system, you will recognize the joyfulness of conversation itself. This is Japanese news. I collaborate uh, Yoshimoto Koyo is uh, Yoshimoto Koyo. This is you know comedian company. Very very long history in Japan. ドクトフルマガチョッピリカタタのシーンですけど、名付けてインタラクティブ漫才。パソコンの中で動いている画面のCGに話しかけると、この2つのマイクで言葉の意味と感情等を認識します。例えば、低くて強い声なら怒ってい
This system is also the same as neural uh, technologies, especially emotional recognition. With voice recognition. Also, speed and the timing of each speed is analyzed. I combine these two results, the level of the user involvement, in other words, how deeply a user is involved into the conversation, is decided. In the character synthesis, and then generation of the facial expression by the and also output sound. And the facial okay. animation Monday character is generated. Thus, a user enjoy a Monday conversation with the system. So, uh, it was uh, 2001, and then I studied more deeply uh, recognizing to the you know Japanese culture, and then uh, I'm choosing next theme is you know. Buddhism Zen. So uh, then uh, we make a you know genetic computer. Genetic computer means Buddhism Zen genetics by computer. So um, and also you know cultural computing scene is um, how to adapting to the you know uh, analyze to the rule rule and uh, some, you know, uh, architecture. Interculture computing. It means translation and visualization of essential aspects of culture between different people using cutting-edge interaction technologies. By developing a new method of interculture computing, utilizing advanced interaction technologies, we can offer a totally new and personal experience through which people could feel and understand other cultures that could otherwise only be understood in a logical way. Based on this intercultural computing, everybody filling the gap among generations, genders and countries can have a cross-cultural understanding through enjoying the interaction like a new entertainment. to realize intercultural computing, taking Zen and Japanese culture as examples. Various kinds of interactive construction with rich allegory and symbolism have been the core of the Zen culture. Representative examples are in painting, Zen dialogue, rock gardens, tea ceremony, and the kimono. Collaborates uh, Professor Sego Matsuoka. He is a uh, philosopher and critic of the Japanese culture. It was. Um, we tried to develop an interactive system that could help us recreate the, ourselves by Buddhist principles, Asian philosophy, and traditional Japanese culture. This is an exhibition at the MIT Museum. Recreating ourselves means our daily self meeting our hidden self through wondering about something, or in other words, our consciousness and unconsciousness melding in complete harmony. It is difficult to achieve this experience through and traditional also logic based interaction. A system collaborates with uh, Dr. Peter Davis. Uh, 
you know, children operating to the, you know, the new computer. Mountain. This is a digital sensing facing tree. Tree. Here is a you know, heliographic icon, and uh, we are split of the you know, ink painting material on each icon. You know, mountains, moons, travelers, bridge, like that. And then moving to the you know, canvas, picture is a pier. We created a virtual world through images of the Asian Sansui ink painting world which are difficult to experience in daily life. Mountain. This makes it possible to awaken our daily consciousness. Mountain. We have developed a 3D interactive ink painting engine by utilizing its original perspective called Sanin, where one picture has three viewpoints. Sanyan is in a very panoramatic perspective, not like you know, Europeans perspective. You know, looking down front of you, parallel view, and looking up to you know far up you know, mountain. Engine classifies their invisible personality by using a neural network and utilizing the Buddhist concept of Gohan, which says that five basic spirits and materials make up our world. One, Shiki. Superficial appearance of the so-called reality. Two, Ju. Intuitive impressions. Three, So. Perceived images. Four, Gyo, activation of behavior. Five, Shiki, the deep mind behind all of the above. Here is the surface and then going to the... Then the users can enter their own 3D ink painting picture. After the painting, depending on their personality, people various can stories are enter generated. their own picture. Right? The environmental information of a story, such as scenery or weather, is used for Godai which encompasses all elements of structure, water, fire, wind, sky, and earth. In the virtual world, users enter a story that shakes their consciousness. This is a navigator tool for the uh, 3D painting world. And then framing, framing to the sum object, Then related haiku generate haiku or This is not a dialogue story generated. such as those in movies or novels, but fragments of short stories. Experiencing these stories makes oh, users uneasy oh, and evokes their unconscious oh, desire to to emerge a whole story by linking these fragments of stories. In each of these incoherent stories. The interactions evoke Zen dialogues or haiku by allegorical communication. The users are asked questions that do not have correct answers. They are forced to deal with these ambiguous provocations, and thus they unconsciously try to answer the questions. There is a small river running here. A person is here too. It's you. Ma interaction. Rules. 
This is in the current state. Whether, you know, the next current state. During the motion, the user agent interacts with the Zen master, Teos One. If the user agent can synchronize with Zen master, the user state can reach the next target. If the user agent cannot synchronize with the Zen master, the user state goes into a compromised state. When the user has too much success in reaching the next target, the Zen master, Chaos One, will become stronger and synchronization becomes more difficult. How We're using on this system, an uh, engine to react to the, you know, computer graphics to use it. Like, you know, catfish behavior or Zen dialogue behavior. Like this that. is a simple and allegorical interaction model based on Buddhism. Context generation changes depending on the user's goal and information from the Zen Buddhism interaction. The Ma interaction wakes users from a hodgepodge of individual fragmentary stories and compels them to make a unified story of their own imagination. Is it a catfish or a gourd? What is the catfish? Is the catfish moving? Slippery catfish. Things that catch and things that get caught. I want you to become free from both. The slippery catfish. I wonder if you understand. Things that catch and things that get caught. Yes, I want you to become free from both. Do you know who I am? I live. I am your inner spirit. Sweet, my 
And the music by Toshinori Kondo, he's a you know, famous international you know, jazz trumpeter. So this is a you know, kind of interactive cinema for 30 minutes. And also, you know, Buddhism Zen is you know, very spirituality and awareness and also, you know, inspiration. So maybe I should show you the you know, I brought. This is a, you know, more meta level uh, inspirations, research work. I, I mean, I inspiration plot, information plot, many Our more inspire plot. In examining how a computer can inspire with human wisdom, we studied the hidden relationships and contextual emergence of language. Narrative is at its most vivid when emerging technologies are born, when an advancing idea breaks through a critical barrier, creating a heretofore unimagined paradigm through the marriage of completely different ideas. Inspiration. The system discovers hidden connections between unrelated words by tracing possible paths through the database. The path between words is like that of a wandering mind, where the jump between each idea is clear but multiple jumps lead to unexpected results. The user may highlight interesting sets of words and delve deeper into the word associations. Database. With traditional context generation, words close contextually to a word are chosen by searching through a regular thesaurus. However, with this technique, it is difficult to produce interesting results. We have realized a method of emergent context generation we call inspiration generation. This method uses a combination of the WordNet lexical database, the Edinburgh Psychological Associative Thesaurus, and Matsuoka's original platforms to produce a dynamic working base with a vocabulary of over 20,000 words. Thought forms this is a original editing of ideas. Research. Concatenation. Ideas arranged in an order. For example, egg, chick, and hen. Balance. Balanced three sets of words. For example, father, son, and the Holy Ghost. Division. 
splitting an idea into two child ideas. For example, computer into hardware and software. Unification, a new idea from a combination of two ideas. For example, radio and tape recorder becomes cassette radio. Crisscross, four ideas in opposition or complement derived from a central idea. For example, old, young, male, and female. Chaos search. This is also uh, Dr. Peter Davis' year chaos engine used in using to the connections. chaos connection of the A word between the A word. Increases. The engine, which runs continuously in the background, contains an objective chaos, the user chaos following the objective, and a system value controlling the synchronization of user and objective. By increasing the system value, the engine produces more chaotic output. Inspiration, computing, robot. Robot agent introduction I brought to and system presents their hidden relationship as an inspiration space. The relationships displayed are discovered by finding associated connections between the individual words, such as war and love and occasional detours provided by the chaos engine. The path produced is much like that which a wandering mind might follow while daydreaming, where the connection between each idea is clear, but multiple connections can lead to very interesting and unexpected results. So, for example, when you click on the word happiness, the pizzeria Shea Mario appears. Happiness, suggestion, pizzeria Shea Mario. Symbol inspiration. If you input two words, symbols calculated by inspiration computing of the input words, such as fight and weep, are generated as thought forms. This way, it is possible to view inspirational links between images. Context inspiration. The user enters a few words he or she likes into the blanks for the five W's plus H, such as president and English, and clicks inspiration. The context is generated via the inspiration computing of the user's input, and these context words are arranged in the form of a sentence. You can also ask a question by marking any blank as unknown. President disliked English human. Inspiration blog. Upon inputting a sentence, such as, inspiration computers are fancy, words possibly hidden within that sentence are calculated via inspiration computing. Inspiration computers are fancy. This may lead to a broadened imagination and fewer misunderstandings in conversations, such as in this case where the reply is flattery will get you nowhere. Flattery will get you nowhere. The computer tries to read between the lines suggest implications of the original content. See you later. Thanks for watching. Okay. Okay. So maybe I should stop. Thank you very much for <laughs> actual use in, in, in the real world, uh, in terms of broadening people's perspective. I, we know that when people play, for example, violent war games, uh, yes. uh, 
which you know involving killing and rape and arson and so on, that they don't relate what's happening on the screen to anything in real life. And in a sense, they can play this game only because it's not real. Is there a risk that if you engage them with philosophical exercises in through the computer, they they're, again it's going to it's going to mean that their philosophy is developing unrelated to the real world. Now again, it's going to become a kind of virtual space in which they do philosophy, just as they can play war games in, in a virtual space. But uh, it'll have no real development, and it won't help them develop as individuals or as thinkers in, in the world of people and the, and the real ideas. So, this is a I think you know this question is dependent on the people. Is the answer is different. But from my point of view, um, so uh, some point of view, uh, war game is also it is you know very useful for you know educational point of view. Never try to the same kind of things happen. But the other time, uh, maybe go and not, not do that because, you know, for young, especially, you know, uh, young children, and maybe, maybe before 50 years old people, not so, you know, experienced to the, you know, year one. And it is very hard to understand to you know, what happened when starting to the war. So, and uh, maybe virtual world is um, maybe educational point of view. So or um, good Im uh, imaginations. Gro maybe you know should be growing up to the good imagination. To this is a kind of. Uh, my opinion, so uh, is, is that okay for your questions? Well, my, my question mm -hmm. really is whether you think the kind of imaginative uh, games people play transfer to the real world, or whether by developing this kind of um, way of thinking within the virtual world, maybe it's actually uh, not helping them. It may even be stopping them from using these kinds of ways of thinking externally. I mean, this could be kind of philosophical pornography, if you see what I mean. It's, it's, it's detached from, 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 from the space in which we really live out our real lives. I mean, this is, of course, a very general question about the use of virtual worlds and, and information technology for developing our imagination, whether what the connection is and how, whether it we, we really helps or hinders us to become fuller and then more wiser people interacting outside of the technology. Mm, it means, uh, my point of view, how, you know, computer is like a um, personal mirror. Um, personal mirror. Uh, it means, uh, you know, if, you know, I, I'm very interested about human-computer interaction, it means uh, uh, human-computer interaction is, in fact, human-to-human interaction, communication of the simulation. And uh, if, you know, people try to, you know, interact with the computer, this is, you know, uh, like a um, feedback, you know, wake up for myself, and also um, understanding myself. And uh, so in the virtual world, not, you know, only interaction with computer. The computer uh, connects to the, you know, peoples, AP, you know, these people and the other people too. And also, this is a very interest about um, for communication, point of view, Con considering understanding more unconsciousness and helping to the you know, communication to unconsciousness too.
and the inspire of the, you know, from the human's brain and emotions and mind to Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, is it possible to distinguish between consciousness approach, uh, consciousness uh, process, and unconsciousness process uh, based on uh, computational uh, approach? I would like to know. Uh, is it possible to incorporate uh, consciousness process as well as? I think so. <laughs> That's why I do <laughs> this kind of work. Um, so, because sometimes, you know, I have more another work, unconscious flow. Uh, this system is uh, uh, how, you know, two people, um, two people communicate with, two people, unknown people communicate with each other. But sometimes, you know, um, social point of view, we are prey to, you know, communication to other people. But uh, um, I, this work, unconsciously, uh, uh, this work, you know, analyze people's uh, behavior, uh, you know, psychological point of view, humans, you know, um, well, let me say, uh, you know, how you know, cross each other or how far each other, and at the time, same time, uh, we analyzing to the humans, people's heart, heart rate sensor too, as psychological, um, uh, a physical way. So, and then uh, computers, characters, uh, make a behavior to how to communication to people with each other. And uh, at that time, if computer character describe no true things, even so, two people's behavior <laughs> is, you know, consciousnessly change. It means more affectable, you know, useful for computer, for uh, computer, uh, humans, consciousnessly affection and communication too. Generally, I always uh, uh, experienced the cultural difference. Mm -hmm. So, is it uh, possible to incorporate uh, such cultural difference uh, about computing uh, human relationships? Uh, yeah, it is uh, also useful um, because you know I explained uh, ex I explained you know genetic computer uh, showing us you know United States especially Boston um, Boston is you know um, very in many Japanese uh, you know art. Uh, showing in there, especially Boston Museum, Gardner Museum, but uh, you know, uh, Bostonian also understanding Japanese culture, especially Zen Buddhism is almost you know same as you know uh, med meditation means like a relapse, <laughs> completely same meanings. But you know, uh, when I show at the genetic computer and then. They are uh, Bostonian people. Something talk to me, understanding to more uh, meaning of the you know, Zen Buddhism for Zen dialogue or you know haiku poem and also uh, in painting also like a more experience is completely different. Just reading a book or. Um, watching through the, some picture in the museum. And this is uh, maybe useful for understanding a uh, different culture. And then, next step is maybe a cultural translation. Maybe we need it. <laughs> but uh, I, I, of course, I, I, didn't, I, did, uh, I did not know about how to do that. But uh, in the future, some people research about 
next step is cultural translation using uh, emotional and unconsciousness uh, information with consciousness information too. Any other question? So, thank you for a great talk. I have a one question. So, emotion is I think uh, it's a kind of an analog data. But computers need a digital data for the input, such as uh, so great, great, or uh, it's a little different. If you, if, if I get a great money, the lottery or any other so casino, and it's a, I'm very glad. If I got a great success in my job, I'm very glad. Because it's a grad is a very different meaning in Italy too. So how do you improve the computer as a digital data? It's a difference of emotion of grad. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Uh, uh, I think, you know, future goal. I don't know what I should do or not how to do that, but in the future goal is computer expand to good emotion. <laughs> uh, good, you know, expand to the good things. And then, no so Please, you know, less of the you know, bad emotion too, and uh, care of the. Mm, I think this is a final goal of the you know emotion technologies, emotional recognition technologies by computer. And please, is that okay for your answer? <laughs> and but you know. A uh, sensitive, sensitive point of view, in fact, I, I know, um, basic emotion is, you know, in the world, world almost the same, but, you know, very sensitive emotion, especially love is different. Um, because, you know, I am a Japanese, but uh, you know, when I was, you know, in the United Kingdom, in London, I went to, you know, theater for comedy theater, but, uh, you know, I cannot say laughing. <laughs> you know, <laughs> because uh, you know, love is very domestic, and uh, another reason is, you know, I show to the uh, interactive comedy in Japan, especially in you know, the Kansai area. It uh, it was very successful, but at that, at that same time, later I this system uh, show to the Boston uh, Boston area, but uh, you know. And I am trying the testing today by two people, but no love. And then, what I should do? And we are, uh, I am, you know, what such about you know Bostonian comedy theater. And then, uh, at that time, I had, I found, you know, quite similar of the you know interactive comedian theater. Uh, it's called Improv Theater. In fact, you know, European comedy is the only one people making a laugh, not two people. Two people is, you know, laugh, are making a laugh way is only Asia area. So, and then uh, Bostonian uh, comedian and translate to the, you know, making a laugh on the Bostonian way. You know, he, he using to the same scenario, but, you know, after that, uh, people, Bostonian people, is laughing. It is a you know, cultural or some love, uh, emotional translation too. That's it. Okay. Uh, thank you. We we have uh, we don't have time left, so I would like to close uh, this session. I would like to thank again uh, to Professor Tosa for a very interesting presentation.